Hello, my name is Aaron Gilmartin and welcome to the Joseph Boston Store at Monterey State Historic Park. The Boston Store was a general goods store operated by a guy named Joseph Boston. He operated this store during the California Gold Rush in the early 1850s. And as a general goods store, well, you could buy pretty much anything you would need for your house or your trade at that time. You could buy fabrics, clothing, crockery, tools, anything that you might need. You could also buy candles. And that's what we're going to be focusing on today is candles in the 1800s. Specifically, we're going to be talking about candles around the holidays. Candles have been associated with holidays during this time of year for hundreds of years. Though today we use them more in a decorative sense. Uh, we use them because of their scent, because they look nice. But in the mid 1800s, they also had a practical usage providing light. Today we decorate our Christmas tree with electric lights. Uh, they would actually put lit candles on their Christmas trees to decorate as well. So they still had a decorative purpose, but you needed them year round for light. Lighting methods here in Monterey specifically would have been tallow candles, whale oil lamps, and beeswax candles. Tallow candles are made from animal fat, specifically cow fat. Monterey was at the center of the hide and tallow trade, and the byproduct of selling cow hides was leftover animal fat. This cow fat could be rendered into something called tallow and made into soap and candles. The whale oil lamps came from whale oil. Whaling was a very big industry along the California coast in the 1850s, and we had whaling stations right here in Monterey. So whale oil would have been a readily available material to provide light. And then beeswax candles, which is what we're going to focus on today. Beeswax candles burned brighter, they smelled better, and they lasted longer, though they were not as commonly used as tallow. There were a couple different ways of making a candle, whether it was tallow or beeswax. First of all, you needed a block of wax. So here we have a pound of solid wax. You would need to heat this and melt it down. From there, the hot wax would either be poured into a candle mold, or you would use a method called wick dipping, where you would dip the candle wicks over and over and over in the hot vat of wax. And as the layers stuck on, the candle got bigger. What we're going to be using today is specifically beeswax sheets. Now these sheets, really easy for making candles at home, which could make a great holiday gift or help decorate your house for the holidays. These beeswax sheets, you don't need any hot wax. So these are very safe, very easy methods. You can buy these sheets online or if you have a local beekeeper, they might actually make these and sell. So we have our wax sheets here. Here we go. It's just a thin layer of wax. You don't need that much to make a candle. It smells pretty nice, very natural smelling. And then you need a wick. Um, we're just going to use cotton wicks. Again, you can buy these online or maybe even at like a craft store. And then we'll need some scissors. That's it, just three things. And I'm going to show you how to make three different types of candles using this method. Now, the first one we're going to do is a full sheet. So we're gonna make a candle using the whole sheet. And this will be a tall and thick candle um, mine, when I made it, burned for about eight hours, so it was actually a really efficient candle. All we need to do is lay our wax sheet long ways away from us. Take our wick here, and you want to make sure to give yourself a little bit of slack on both ends. So I'm going to lay it out right on the end here, and go ahead and trim this. Cut this off. All right. Now the wax, it's soft. You can squish it. So we are going to, right on the edge, take our wick and kind of press it into the wax sheet here. That way your wick doesn't slip. It's nice and secured. 
There we go. Step two is to gently fold the edge of the wax over the wick. So now the wick will be encased in wax. And if it kind of breaks and crumbles along the edge, that's okay because the great thing about wax is you can just squish it back together. So if you have a piece come off or it's a little uneven, you can just squish it so it's nice and tight. You want this to be tight around your candle wick because this is going to be the center of your candle, right? This is going to be right at the middle. And then from here, it's fairly simple. We are just going to roll the entire sheet for the entire length. So here we go. Try to keep it as even as possible. Just kind of follow the line here. Gets a little easier as you go. So once you've rolled it up, you want to take your hands and just kind of squish that edge, get that wax to stick to itself, that way it doesn't unravel. And if it seems like it's a little loose, that's okay, because when you light this for the first time and the wax starts melting, it will drip down inside and really hold the candle together. And I found that uh, if you want to make sure that it stands upright, if you don't have a proper candle holder, you know, you want to be safe with these candles. So just having it precariously balanced, probably not the best idea. I found that if you have like a little bowl, just use the match or lighter to heat the bottom so it gets sticky, stick it in that bowl, and it should burn all the way down. And then the bowl will kind of catch any wax that spills over the side. Okay, so the second candle we're going to make is going to be using a half sheet but I'm going to be cutting it diagonally. So again, scissors, you just kind of eyeball what a diagonal is going to look like, but I'm basically going to cut it as best I can from corner to corner. It's okay if it's not a perfectly straight line, we just want it to be a one piece of wax. So if it does break off, we would have a little bit of a problem. But again, like I said, the wax is really sticky, so it's really easy to just kind of stick the pieces back together there. Uh, that's one of the benefits of working with wax. So here we go. I'm gonna cut all the way to the edge. And uh, essentially you can actually get two candles, right? I'm gonna show you how to make one with this, but you could use it again for the other side. So this method starts off very much the same. We lay it out lengthways. We take our wick here, line it up, cut it where we make sure that we have slack on both sides. And we're going to again, press it into the wax along the edge here. So it's nice and straight. And then fold over the edge to make sure the wick is at what will again be the core of our candle. So this is going to be making kind of a spiral candle, a little bit more of a fun design, almost will look kind of like a Christmas tree. And we are going to roll along the straight edge here. So we have the straight edge of our half sheet. We are going to follow that edge as best as we can. If you find that the wax is a little stiff or you're having trouble rolling it, uh, you can warm it up a little bit. You don't want to melt it, but if you took like a blow dryer or something and just made it a little warm so it's more malleable, that might help you roll it. So here we have our spiral candle. See, it's thicker at the bottom and that half sheet makes it wind all the way up to the top. So again, it kind of looks a little bit like a Christmas tree. So that is our second candle. Our third and final candle we will be making with these wax sheets is going to be more like a tea light. So something short, uh, but still a little bit of a thicker candle so there's enough wax for it to burn for a decent amount of time. So for this, we really only need um, about half length and only about two inches tall, right? So I'm going to cut this 
just about halfway down. Okay, something like this. So we have kind of a rectangle, a strip here. And we won't need much wick for this, just enough to cover. The length. Same thing, go ahead and press it in there, fold it over, and just roll that up. And you could make a bunch of these out of one sheet. This is just using a very small amount of wax. Roll those up, kind of pinch it together, trim off the extra. And look at that, it's just a small little candle kind of like a little tea light that you could fit maybe inside if you have like small candle holders or any like ceramic decorations that light up and you put a light inside as long as they are safe for actual candles. This is how you can just make a small little versatile tea light candle. All right, so there you have it. Three different ways to make three different candles using these beeswax sheets. And these supplies are really easy to get online without even having to leave your house, and they make a great gift for yourself or a friend. So thanks for watching, and happy holidays.